In October 2019, a shocking incident captured the public's attention when it was revealed that Jarrett Van Dorsten had held his six children captive in the basement of a farmhouse for a harrowing period of 12 years. The 67-year-old man, a follower of the Muni sect, referred to his family as God's chosen. However, one glimmer of hope emerged when one of his children managed to escape and bravely alerted the authorities, sparking a chain of events that would expose the truth. It was on October 14, 2019, that an unusual visitor entered a local bar in the village of Reinerwold, located in the eastern part of the Netherlands. The young man, disheveled and sporting an unkempt and grimy beard, sat down and ordered several beers. Engaging in conversation with the bartender, he revealed a shocking revelation. He had not stepped foot outside for over eight years. The man identified himself as Jan Zon van Dorsten and disclosed that his siblings resided in the basement of a nearby farmhouse. Without delay, the bartender promptly notified the police of this distressing information. Upon the arrival of the authorities, a thorough investigation commenced, encompassing both the farmhouse and its surroundings. At first glance, the house appeared vacant, devoid of any signs of habitation. Nestled amidst the trees, it possessed a modest vegetable garden adorned with an assortment of plants. However, behind a closet in one of the rooms, a concealed staircase leading down to the basement was discovered. Several brave police officers ventured down into the depths of the hidden cellar, and what they encountered within sent shockwaves through their souls. Six individuals, Van Dorsten's captive children, were discovered, their lives unjustly confined for an extended period. In a scene fraught with anguish and fear, the haggard and traumatized individuals huddled together when the police arrived, their speech unintelligible and their expressions filled with trepidation. The depths of their suffering soon came to light. The six siblings had endured a staggering 12 years of captivity in the basement. Adding to the perplexity of the situation, it was discovered that the eldest son, Jan Zahn van Dorsten, had somehow accessed the internet and created a Facebook page in 2010, despite such platforms being banned in the Russian Federation. Startlingly, the Van Dorsten siblings had never received any formal education and were not even officially registered, their existence unknown to the state. The patriarch of the family had subjected his children to a relentless cycle of fear, using the impending doomsday as a means to control them. He instilled in them the belief that the world above was rife with malevolent spirits that could possess them, constantly reiterating that their survival depended on remaining confined in the basement, he vehemently punished any hint of disobedience. Compounding the tragedy, it was revealed that Jarrett Van Dorsten's wife, the mother of the captive children, had tragically passed away in 2004. It appears that following this loss, Jarrett delved into religious fervor, becoming a devoted follower of the Muni sect. He regarded his children as chosen by God, further justifying their isolation and subjecting them to severe punishment. Within the confines of their imprisonment, the Van Dorsten siblings subsisted on vegetables cultivated in their meager garden. One of Jarrett's acquaintances recounted that he was a skilled woodcarver, undertaking small jobs to cover utility bills, food, and clothing expenses. To the neighbors, Jarrett was the sole visible presence, having purchased the house in 1997. Unbeknownst to the local community, the unimaginable horrors unfolding in the basement remained hidden from view. Jared himself, in his deranged state, claimed that he sought to protect his children from the perceived malevolence of the outside world. The Dutch police diligently guarded the secrecy surrounding the case, leaving countless unanswered questions that may forever remain shrouded. Moreover, an accomplice, Joseph Brunner, played a role in the perpetuation of the captivity. The profound psychological manipulation inflicted by Jarrett likely explained Jan Dorsten's reluctance to seek help via the internet. The constant indoctrination, warning of an imminent apocalypse, and the dangers of the outside world had taken its toll. 
The younger siblings, having rarely ventured to the surface, struggled to communicate and interact with others, further deepening the mystery surrounding their ordeal. The trial of Jarrett, the deranged tormentor and monster, took place on January 21, 2020. He faced charges of illegally depriving his children of their freedom and subjecting them to violent abuse. While the older children unequivocally found their father guilty, the younger children did not reach the same conclusion. Remarkably, during the court proceedings, previously undisclosed information about the abuser's children emerged. He had not six, but nine children. Between 2002 and 2007, three of the older daughters managed to escape their tyrannical father's clutches, severing all ties with the family. The Netherlands, bound by stringent privacy laws, maintained confidentiality regarding personal information. The current whereabouts and circumstances surrounding Jarrett remain elusive. Limited information suggests that the tormentor grappled with severe heart problems, leading to a commutation of his sentence. Whether Jarrett's wife was aware of her husband's heinous acts against their children remains a mystery. Presently, the victims of the mad father lead quiet lives, shielded from public scrutiny. In 2021, they bravely participated in a documentary recounting the harrowing tale of the Dorsten family and their years of captivity. The film was broadcasted on Dutch television, shedding light on their unimaginable ordeal.